hey, what's up? Let's go over three key points to focus on when you're working off the wall to learn how to balance a freestanding handstand. Um, if you didn't know, um, working on the wall, facing the wall is the absolute best way to learn how to do handstands. And you can't always start here if you're a true beginner, but if you are just trying to kick up in the middle of the floor over and over and over again, that's gonna be super inefficient. Some people are gonna learn that way who are pretty strong or pretty coordinated, but in that process, you're gonna learn a ton of bad habits that down the road, if you decide you like handstands, you're just gonna to have to spend that same amount of time learning again um, to clean up all the bad habits you've created. So working facing the wall is how you wanna do it. And here are the three key points to focus on that are gonna help you make the most out of it. The first one is going to be move slow. When I'm working with clients, once they get upside down, pretty much all of their proprioceptive awareness goes out the window and movements that to them feel like this slow, when they watch it in the video, when I review their videos, it's like a flag flopping in the wind. The movements are spastic and super out of control. And because we don't have the proprioceptive awareness with our mind-body connection, we can't keep up. And so there's like five leg movements and we're all the way five movements behind with our hands and our shoulders where the balance has to happen. So we just can't keep up. And either they stay stuck on the wall or they fall over and have to start the next set. So the first one is just slowing down and I can show you exactly how slow we wanna do it right now. So you get the point. Very slow is what we want to work towards. And typically it's not going to be that controlled because you're learning. Um, obviously I've had a lot of experience and many years of practice to be able to represent an ideal case scenario of moving slowly, but that's what we want to keep in mind. Even when we're first setting up and we have both feet on the wall and we're pressing up to get our first arm, our first leg out, we still want to even do that slowly because that movement is gonna create a weight shift in the hands and every bit of sensation that we can feel and learn to react to and experience consciously, the better we're going to be able to have a reaction that sustains balance and creates stability. So just from the very start, when you get up on that wall, move slow to get set up. And then when you are starting to get into position to balance, then bringing the legs together extra slow as well. Um, the second point, don't be in a hurry. So this might sound like the moving slow, but it's slightly different. So basically what we wanna do is kind of create a position and then freeze and see what happens. Um, like I mentioned earlier, our brain is gonna be two or three steps behind where our body is. So if we make one adjustment and that doesn't seem to put us in a freestanding handstand and we make another adjustment and then we make another adjustment and then we make another adjustment, our brain is just getting further and further behind where our body is in space and it's going to have a harder and harder time making the appropriate corrections to keep ourselves stable. So that's either gonna mean we're just gonna stay stuck flopping on and off the wall or we're just gonna quickly tip off the wall. So we really wanna think about, get into what we think is kind of a straight position. I still feel heavy on this wall, so I guess I'll move my hips and shoulders a little further out. Oh, I'm starting to feel lighter on the wall. Maybe a tiny bit more. 
oh, I'm starting to float freeze. Don't move at all, don't move at all, don't move at all, don't move at all. Oh, I fell back to the wall. Okay, maybe I wasn't quite far enough out that time. I can move a little further. Um, and so that's the kind of titration process we want to create. Um, I'll try to show you that one as well. So again, taking my time, getting set up nice and slow. And so now I'm still pretty heavy on the wall here, right? If I take that foot off, it falls right back to the wall. So I'm gonna move a little further, just a tiny bit. So it looks like I'm still pretty heavy on the wall. And, and don't tap your foot like this, I'm just doing that so that you can um, have like a visual representation of what's happening, uh, so it's a little more clear. So then again, I'll move a little further out, boom, freeze. Oh, my foot's starting to get a little bit lighter. So now I'm really close. Um, so I'll just go a tiny bit more, and then I start to balance. And there's my handstand. And so once again, obviously I can do this quite easily. It's harder than it looks, but that's the idea of small adjustment, wait and see, small adjustment, wait and see, small adjustment. Oh, this foot's starting to feel really, really light. See if I can hold that for five or 10 seconds. Boom, then come down. And you've probably noticed that these sets being slow take a while to happen. So you're gonna need pretty good endurance and with the training program, um, doing several sets of this and other drills, we really wanna focus on building up that endurance so that you can relatively hold comfortably about 60 seconds with a good position on a wall facing handstand in any given set. And then we'll try to keep these assisted drills, whether that time is off the wall or just making adjustments under 30 seconds. So we're staying under half the total time that you can handle for your holds. Um, finally, the third point, and as you start to get better, maybe the most important point is that we wanna lift our foot off the wall. We never wanna push and tap. So like that last set where I was whacking the wall, um, just to show you kind of where my balance was, that I was still heavy on the wall, that's exactly what we don't wanna do. We wanna get into position, and then as we balance, that foot is gonna be able to just naturally come up off the wall without any momentum because that push off is gonna create momentum out that then your shoulders, my legs in this position, are gonna have to arrest that movement, freeze it, and keep you from flipping out. Um, so I'll show you both of them now. So I get set up, and now this will be the correct movement. So I'm gonna slowly make an adjustment. That feels pretty good. Maybe I could be a tiny bit more forward. Freeze, okay, that feels pretty good. And now this foot, my left foot, is just going to lift straight out into that handstand. As opposed to, if I'm not quite off the wall, and I try to push myself you can see that um, I end up in this archy back position that's less efficient and I wasn't trying to fake that archy back position right that pushing off just kind of naturally forced me into that position whereas when I took my time pause to make sure I felt right, and then focus to lift that foot, I was much better able to sustain my start position as opposed to when I created that momentum that I then had to make strong adjustments to save the handstand. And so because I've done a lot of handstands, right, I can create that momentum that you know even messes up my shape and still hold the handstand. But when you're new and you create that momentum, there's no possible way that enough momentum to like make you bow your back out that significantly um, that you'll be able to sustain the handstand and save it and keep holding. So move slow, take your time to get set. As you get close to that good position, then make incremental points 
and freeze for three to five seconds to really feel what's happening. And then finally, once you've moved slow and you've made those pauses to find where you think is a good position, you want to lift that foot smoothly and never try to push off. So that's key points one, two, and three. Move slow, make pauses, and lift, don't push. Good luck with your handstands. Oh, and if you watch this whole video, you made it all the way to the end, um, please take the time to like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing lots more tutorials like this. Um, hopefully we'll increase our production quality over time, but the details, the information is always gonna be on point. I promise you, I take training so seriously. And um, for those who are interested, I'm so grateful for you to, um, that you would sit and spend your valuable time to watch any content that I would create. Um, so I'm gonna be bringing you detailed, super clean information to help you get better at things like handstands, flexibility, um, weight training, all of, the all of the above. So stick around and I'll see you in the next one.